I'm Avery Wallace. I'm a, a docent at the Southern California Commemorative Air Force. I really enjoy working here. It's a lot of fun, a lot of great guys. And it's a unique museum because we fly the airplanes. Uh, that means any time they come in, planes are parked in different places. Uh, many days they need to be worked on and they fly them or we're taking people for rides and we fly them or they're going to a air show and they fly them. And oh, by the way, when the pilots take off, they will then circle at the museum full speed to give anybody here kind of a thrill as they fly over. That's fun to watch. Here at the uh, Commemorative Air Force, we've got quite a lot of great airplanes. We've got a P-51 Man of War, it's in the ride program. We've got a Navy Hellcat, a Navy Bearcat, uh, the uh, Hellcat being the primary fighter of World War II for the Navy. We've got a uh, British Spitfire, a Mark 14, with the Griffin Rolls-Royce engine in it. Behind me is a Japanese Zero, the world's best fighter in 1939, had a range of 2,000 miles and flown by very effective pilots at the time at Pearl Harbor. B-25 bomber uh, flown by the Army, uh, PBJ as the B-25 flown by the Marine Corps. We've got a C-46 uh, cargo plane, the one that flew the hump from Burma to China. The museum is three hangars. The museum hangar that we're in right now houses the museum exhibits, which is pretty extensive. It is housing aircraft that are ready to fly. The airplanes behind me, you can push out, fire them up and go right now. The hangar next to us is our maintenance hangar. In the maintenance hangar, we're doing two things. We are maintaining aircraft and we're restoring aircraft. They're both going on. Our third hangar, which is brand new, is being used to house aircraft and also is open to tour. And in that aircraft, you get up close and walk around all the airplanes. And because they rotate, you can come in here any day and be different aircraft in different hangars, depending on what's going on. The tours are customized to the individual person or group that wants to come through. We always ask them how much time they've got, if there's any special interest, to make sure we cover that carefully, and the amount of detail they want. Uh, we take uh, a docent-led tour uh, through the museum and through the aircraft uh, outside on the tarmac and in the hangars. We have groups come through. If we have a large group, we bring in extra docents so we can give a, a more of a personalized tour. We have school groups come through, uh, school kids, classes. Uh, we've got uh, military groups coming through uh, that ask for a unique tour. And of course, we rent the uh, museum hangars uh, for special events that people may want to have. Uh, it could be a retirement party, uh, a funeral. Uh, we do things like uh, a service in the hangar and then fly a missing, missing man formation and take ashes out over the ocean. Now, uh, most air museums are, are a static exhibit. They're beautiful. They're there, and they're not going to fly. They're restored to look at. Uh, the difference of, of this place is they fly. And it's exciting to, to see an airplane pulled out, and they fire it up, and they, and they shake and back and smoke and back a little bit, and they settle down, and then they take them out and fly them. Uh, that, that they kind of come alive and that's fun. Also, you get much closer to these aircraft than you do in most museums. In most museums, they're kind of fenced off, so you can see them but not touch them. Here, you can touch them if you remember. You get to, get, you get to work on them. You get your hands on them, and uh, that's exciting. Good. The mission of the CF is to honor the, the veterans of World War II and to educate the public and to let people get up close to the aircraft, feel the sound, and also help them learn more about their family members that fought during the war that we're in the, in the Army Air Corps, uh, the Navy, uh, Marines, and we help them understand what, what their family did during the war.